Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. So, what exactly is a black hole? I think the simplest, most honest way of answering it is it's one of the several possible end states of stellar evolution, of the of the life cycle of a star. Okay, depending upon its mass and depending upon this, there are several possible end states. A black hole is one such possible end state. The other answer to your question is, well, it's uh, of the several possible uh, singularities that can arise in the structure of space-time. Well, a black hole is one kind of singularity. Um, so is it true that even light can't escape the gravitational pull of the black hole? That's more or less the definition of a black hole. Uh, Physicists, people who work on it would call a black hole as a singularity with a very, uh, very interesting mathematical properties. But at least in popular imagination, also in large parts of astronomy, other than those who study black holes itself, the physics of black holes itself, a black hole is an object which is so dense that even uh, light does not escape from it. So this is from where the concept of time warp or time machine came? No. Uh, it's, it's merely a statement that a black hole's uh, gravitation... There are two ways of looking at it. You can say a black hole is so heavy, uh, so dense, that if you go close enough to it, even light cannot escape. Um, uh, a more advanced way of looking at it from the work of what Einstein did was that a black hole is so dense that it curves, distorts space-time around it, such that the straight lines that uh, light travels in becomes curved and goes round and round the black hole or falls into it, right? So there are two slightly conceptually different ways of looking at what a black hole is. We can either talk in terms of uh, curvature of space-time, which is the singularity that Prasad was talking about, or in terms of the fact that it doesn't allow light to go away. It attracts it so strongly. So these would be the two ways. All those other things are, are, are a lot more speculative than 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 the kind of stuff that we discuss in terms of astronomy itself. So then can the black holes be potent enough to suck in the universe also? When you say that, we come back to the question of is the universe expanding and how do we stop this expansion and all. For one single black hole to have enough mass to sort of yeah. halt the entire universe, is, I don't think that that is possible. So then is it true that on the other side of the black hole there is a world exactly like ours? Is it a speculation, a theory or just a belief? Speculation. Maybe tending to belief. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's more fiction than... More science fiction than... Yeah. It is said that every galaxy has a black hole in its center. And like that our Milky Way also has it. And it is also estimated that Andromeda galaxy would... Uh, collide with our galaxy, so when the two galaxies would merge, the black holes would also merge, and then would it be, like, if it go on uh, happening and happening, then would the end black hole would have the capacity to enlarge the universe in it? So when you say two objects will collide and merge, uh, it's not like taking, uh, you know, two chapati atta and hitting together and say collide and merge. So collision on, on astrophysical scales is not a one-time event. It, it's a process which takes a humongous amount of time. It's a very, very large amounts of time. Yes, Andromeda and, and our galaxy can merge, but it probably won't merge over the next many billion years, maybe next 10 billion years. If you're going to wait 10 billion years for the nearest galaxies to merge, by the time you generate a black hole large enough to consume the universe, we, we, we are not even talking of uh, a time scale which makes any sense, even even by standards of cosmology. Right? It's like saying, yes, uh, our future is in danger because the sun will expand after 5 billion years, so we should all be worried about it. Uh, I think 5 billion years compared to our lifetime is the same as uh, collision time scale large enough to generate a black hole you know it's it's yes in principle it could happen over a very very vast amount of time but it's so vast that it makes no sense at all it's going on all the time there, there, there yeah and nothing galaxies. has actually collapsed